Relax with a winter journey through time and a night's cozy bedtime story for grown-ups. You are listening to Snowy Victorian New York. In this sleepy story, find yourself in Manhattan at the turn of the century as a snowstorm travels up the eastern seaboard. As the wind whistles through the urban canyon of Fourth Avenue, you find yourself in a warmly lit artist's studio with the Tiffany Girls, a group of inspiring young artists and designers crafting glass into elegant lamps. Lost in their creative lair, you revel in the kind camaraderie before reveling in the snow in a secret park and returning to a charming loft to fall asleep by a crackling fire. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, your dreamy narrator and advocate for sleep. Escape the noise of the modern world as you fade into the splendor of another time. Should you have any cozy suggestions for upcoming stories? This week's story was inspired by a late summer day I spent perusing an installation of Tiffany lamps at the New York Historical Society. The beautiful antique glass fixtures mesmerized me, along with the stories of the young women artists who at the time anonymously crafted them my visit created a longing to experience the Tiffany Studios and Victorian New York firsthand. And in this story, you may come along with me to explore what I imagine the world might be like. To enhance your listening experience, allow yourself to wiggle and settle until you find comfort. Quietly let your mind and body know that you are done with this day. You have made it through another page in the many chapters of your life and should congratulate yourself right now. As your head sinks into your pillow with your eyes closed, let out a big sigh. And when you inhale, Sip in the air slowly and imagine it takes on the aromatic notes of snowy air and logs burning in a stone fireplace. Notice how everything suddenly feels different. You may yawn if you like and then exhale again, letting out a long, peace-inspiring sigh feeling more serene. Engage in this round of breathing again at your own pace. Your room takes on the warm illumination of a kaleidoscope of colors as if basking in the light of Tiffany lamps. The stained glass offers warm ambers and orange lights that blend with turquoise, ruby, and emerald hues. The waves of light create an intimate oasis of soothing vibrations that connect you with the bone-deep feeling of being home. In the comforting glow of the jewel-toned light, you indulge one more time with a conscious, deep breath in, perhaps a yawn, and at last a sigh. Safe in the sanctuary of your room and imaginative mind, you are open to the wonders of the Victorian era, and this is where our story begins. Snow falls outside, forming pirouettes in the wind up Park Avenue South, 
as yellow cabs weave between cars and trucks down below. Elliptical floor-to-ceiling windows frame the picturesque winter scene in Manhattan. As you sip on a warm drink and imagine a time long ago when this loft apartment was once a workspace and studio for the Tiffany girls who helped design and create some of the most iconic lamps in American history. Now a luxurious apartment with hints of its industrial past. The high ceilings give way to lofts turned into reading and dining nooks designated by purposely arranged glass dividers and rustic beams. Stairs wind behind glass walls leading to an office and a bedroom loft for guests. Exposed brick walls retain stories untold of this ever-changing space in a wide brick building that has existed since the 1860s. You gather your mug and walk to the bedroom, a wave of sleepiness brought on by the bleakness of the season. It's hard to tell the time on days like these when the sun never reveals itself. Yet in this frigid dreariness, you discover the wonders of winter, embracing fully its encouragement to slow down and hibernate in your own way. It brings an invitation to lean into the winter of life. A five-tiered chandelier hangs above a floating king-sized bed suspended by ropes from exposed beams. The room boasts the kind of ceilings that soar so high that even a light fixture this large could not overwhelm the room. The once shiny red brick wall behind the marine blue velvet headboard retains a dusting of time. The conjures images of salt-crusted stones on a rocky beach. You settle into the bed for a nap, your eyes focusing on a blown-up sepia photo of the Tiffany girls in a thick black frame hung on the wall. Though quite young, there is a maturity to the women that is further enhanced by their feathery, bouffant hairstyles, high necklines, and frilly blouses. And frilly blouses. As your mind drifts between gratitude for this cozy apartment and this image of the Victorian era, you fade into a dreamy nap, conjuring the essence of this long-ago time as you find yourself in 1900. Flurries fall on your wool cape and elegant hat as you stroll 4th Avenue, which would become Park Avenue South in 1959. The clacking of horses' hooves and creaking carriage wheels are joined by the crunch of your boots in the two inches of snow that has accumulated. Women on the street appear so well put together in their wool coats with high collars and open capes, their hands buried in muffs and their updos protected beneath bonnets and hats. The men wear multi-layers of wool with thick scarves and top hats speckled with snow. Dark gray and black plumes rise out of the chimneys of commercial buildings and residences alike, all in an effort to heat the brick and stone buildings as the temperature drops. 
the air takes on a unique combination, smelling of fresh snow, burning wood, and a barely there sweetness from molten glass. You take a moment to revel in the purity of the white flakes dancing in the breeze, contrasting the bleak skies and smoke trails. You enter the main doors of the building that houses the studios for Tiffany Glass. The workshop is where dreams become reality and where the Tiffany girls can be found imagining new designs and bringing them to life, manipulating copper around the edges of colorful glass to create stories in mosaic patterns. Not every woman at the turn of the 20th century has the blissful experiences shared by unmarried female artisans brought together by Louis Comfort Tiffany, the founder of Tiffany Glass. And while their contributions will remain anonymous for decades, the Tiffany girls are the heart and soul behind some of the most beloved lamps to come from his studios. Early on, Lewis was a painter, capturing magnificent landscapes around the world. He later became a visionary of the Gilded Age, living up to his namesake of comfort by creating masterpieces for the home that evoke elegance and natural beauty. At first, as a struggling artisan, he found it challenging to acquire commercial sheets of glass for his unique and unproven designs. Early lamps were made from foraged glass, from broken bottles and discarded jars, perfect in their imperfections. But as his empire grew, he bought land in the rural town of Corona, Queens, far from the competitive corporate magnets of Manhattan, to build a new home for his glass furnaces and production. No longer would he negotiate with commercial glassmakers as he sought to manufacture his own. Corona meaning crown would prove to be an ideal setting for a factory crafting regal decor. But behind the man, as his empire grew, was the creative support team known as the Tiffany Girls. His glass cutting workshop offered the artistic independence and freedom these vibrant souls longed for traveling from smaller cities and towns in America to forge their paths in New York. You find yourself within the main studio where over a dozen young women are caught in a creative flurry of activity, drawing designs and piecing together cuts of glass resembling gemstones like emerald, sapphire, ruby, topaz, aquamarine, and garnet. The floor-to-ceiling windows allow natural light to flood the artistic space that in a century's time will become a bedroom ripe for dreaming. While the sun is absent behind the ominous snow clouds, the fresh blanket of snow reflects more light than the sunniest of days. As the pure white light pours into the studio, you are drawn to the warm rainbow palette 
of the finished lamps, arranged throughout the lofty space. Floor lamps rise out of the hardwood planks like palmettos dripping in colorful glass. Small lamps scatter across wooden tables, replicating dragonflies and a palette of spring flowers. The lampshade's shapes mimic those of umbrellas and mushroom tops. But the patterns are dreamier illuminated by the flickering light of oil lamps. Geometric patterns offer abstract displays of color, while more thoughtful designs reflect shades of blue rain dripping upon a dark earth. Bundles of grapes conjure thoughts of vineyards by the sea and peacock feathers on display against fields of Kelly green grass. Intentionally created to emulate the contours and reflective beauty of gemstones, the glass is translucent enough for light to pass through, yet gauzy enough to add softness and an air of mystery. In this vibrant lair, you brush your fingers over a table of fine pieces of glass as Clara Driscoll, one of the most renowned designers, approaches you with a smile. She understands the allure of the colored glass and the desire to feel the pieces and revel in the tactile sensation of each pattern, bringing it more to life. While not the mastermind behind the studio, she clearly is the master designer. Her perfectly coiffed bun and long, sophisticated dress cinched snugly around her corseted waist contrast her modest, even humble demeanor. For a visitor from the modern world, you cannot deny how intimidating it is to come upon the fashion styles of the time. Admiring how the women even work with their ruffles and snug dresses that dust the wooden planks of the floor. They hustle, even slowed down by their attire, with the excitement and passion that comes with youth and the undeniable luck of being part of this imaginative world. Clara shows you some of her most beloved lamps. One depicts lush green stems dropping down from the top, made heavy by the weight of daffodil flowers with petals in varying shades of yellow. She brings you to a design she is reworking that captures dragonflies in summer. The richest of cobalt blues transport your mind to a summer lake surrounded by trees swaying in the breeze. Her work is so captivating that it allows one to escape the darkest of winters with the promise of summer told in the emerald and turquoise cuts of iridescent glass. Clara may never know the centuries-long impact of her craftsmanship or that one day 
Her letters will reveal their silent contributions made under the Tiffany name. But her love of her colleagues and the creative process illuminate her life in the ways each creation will go on to illuminate the darkest of nights in buildings around the world. That's when you realize what you are feeling when you peer into the perfect lamp. A sense of being at home, of safety, warmth, and hope. Clara clasps your hand, her tiny warm fingers revealing an unexpected strength as she leads you through the stages of production. The mesmerizing process unfolds before your eyes. As her team swings into action, well into the afternoon hours. She leads you through a wall of sketches that hang on twine, spread across an exposed brick wall, awaiting her meticulous scrutiny for approval before being shown to the founder. Some of the images are collections of unrefined dreams, works in progress that are one light bulb moment away from completion. These lamps will be the sources of light that people enjoy in their most intimate moments, alone and with others, setting the mood and refining the ambiance, even when they aren't aware. You watch as a talented artisan, a young woman no older than 19, sketches a scaled cartoon of the design on tracing paper, gently placing it beneath the glass atop a softly glowing light box. Meanwhile, another woman, a widow in her 30s, carefully selects colored glass sheets, each measuring around 15 by 15 inches, adding a palette of hues to the atmosphere. All of the Tiffany girls must be unmarried, some of them caught between the love of their work and the promise of stability brought to women by the idea of marriage. A married woman would be seen making income for a family, a true threat to the male glass workers of the era. Yet as you watch these women in action, their glee is infectious. The possibilities still feel unlimited. And this lightness comes through in their masterful creations. Your senses are heightened as yet another artisan meticulously cuts pieces from the colored glass. She becomes lost in her work. A meditative flow that keeps her present to the moment. Precise and attentive, she yields her power to the subtle nuances of color and striation. In other parts of the studio, a few of the women transform thin copper into noodle-like strips 
The copper reflects the natural light that pours through the studio windows. And with a delicate yet purposeful touch, they bend and foil the copper strips around the edges of the glass pieces. From a distance, taking in the totality of the space, the nimble fingers and graceful hands of the Tiffany girls are like watching an orchestra perform at Carnegie Hall. The howling winds down 4th Avenue accompany the sounds of clinking glass, rustling skirts and petticoats that brush the hardwood floors. Pencil scratching across paper the occasional tinks of instruments and the sighs of relief and squeals of enthusiasm that come from the female team. You appreciate this era where every detail matters and the lasting impressions of beauty will make the world a more vibrant place for centuries to come. And each of these fine artisans knows firsthand how their work will become show-stopping conversation pieces, all the while illuminating beloved rooms and fostering a connection to feeling at home. The lamps on display offer an insight into how wonderful the world would be if we all set our intentions and aspirations to celebrate nature and spread light. Daylight fades and the girls come to the end of their shifts, inviting you to join them for a frolic in the snow in the elusive and private Gramercy Park. An old widower in one of the luxurious homes along the park has offered access to his precious golden key for the young women to take the occasional stroll. You follow the Tiffany girls south on 4th Avenue as snowflakes kiss your face, balancing atop the snow packed by horses and pedestrians. The snow sparkles in the glow of gas lights. The amber light bringing out the iridescence of the lacy crystals. The avenues and streets are mostly deserted. The chaotic city's pulse subdued in the face of the storm. The Tiffany girls, however, press on, their sisterhood evident in both their purposeful steps and shared laughter that cuts through the winter air. Adeline opens the gate to the park and you follow behind, looking up at the surrounding buildings. Again, the smell of wood smoke and fresh snow creates an aromatic elixir. You venture behind the cast iron fence into the exclusive winter embrace of Gramercy Park as you quietly trail the Tiffany girls, their Victorian attire 
coated in snowflakes and prismatic water droplets. Layers of navy, gray, and eggplant cotton and wool envelop them, the fabrics providing a comforting shield against the winter chill. The soft crunch of snow beneath their laced up boots creates a soothing sound with a persistent shuffle of their layered skirts and coats. The gas lights cast a warm glow on the snow-covered grounds and the Tiffany girls gather beneath the flickering lights, their silhouettes forming a graceful tableau against the serene white backdrop. They react with the same sense of freedom that led them to this insular world. Spinning and twirling and letting snowflakes land on their tongues. Their laughter fills the sleeping gardens. In this moment, the Tiffany girls resemble a traveling coven. United by their shared craft and the ethereal beauty of the winter night, the snowfall, silent and steady, blankets the park and they move to its rhythm amidst winter's display, tender threads from the holiday season linger. A delicate display of gold tinsel adorning the branches of a tree. The gilded strands, remnants of the festive celebrations, catch the soft glow of gaslights like miniature beacons of hope on the darkest winter night. Each golden filament, thin and reflective, seems to showcase a hint of the Gilded Age's opulence. Against the backdrop of the snow-covered park, the tinsel stands out a subtle yet eye-catching display of light. Its presence becomes a symbol of enduring hope, a remnant from a joyous time that continues to cast its warm glow long after the holidays have passed. As you observe the tree, the gold tinsel dances in the winter breeze, refracting the gaslight with a gentle shimmer as fine as angel hair. The contrast between the rich gold and the pearly white snow as it puts on a sparkling light show is a reminder that even in the midst of the darkest and longest night, traces of light and hope endure. As you watch this occur, you see how each of these women may find inspiration for Tiffany lamp designs in the most unexpected places. The time nears to say goodnight and the young women embrace you and then begin to fade 
one by one into the snowy setting, their figures becoming mere silhouettes against the winter night. The passage of time becomes fluid, and with each departure, you sense a subtle transformation. The snowy surroundings blur, and suddenly you find yourself back at the Tiffany Studios in the present, in a loft apartment, nestled comfortably in the suspended bed. Outside, the afternoon snowfall has ramped up into a mesmerizing blizzard, a force of nature obscuring the city lights and street below in a blanket of white. Flames continue to flicker and dance in the fireplace. And the tiredness from the day lingers. And this will become one of those unusual experiences you may not have had since childhood. As your nap seamlessly transitions into a night of deep sleep. The muffled sounds of the blizzard outside drown out the sounds of a city subdued by the storm. Before closing your eyes and taking your mind's invitation to sleep once more, you notice a glint on the pillow an unexpected gold strand of tinsel, a silent reminder of the magical encounter in Gramercy Park. It sparkles softly, reflecting the ambient glow from the street lights, filtering through the snowstorm outside as you run your finger down the strand and watch it wiggle. The mystery of it all follows you as you fade back into slumber. Visions of stained glass lamps and twinkling snow Paint the corners of your mind. The intertwining memories of the past and the present create a dreamscape where you float through time, your whims bringing you wherever you wish to go. Sleep becomes your canvas, and with the artistic pleasure of the Tiffany girls, you use your creative mind to guide you, finding peace, finding comfort, finding bliss. Finding sleep. It's time to dream away.